Welcome to week seven of the Vitality Women's Premier Division. I'm Simon Mason and these are the highlights from the weekend's action. Tess Howard fired East Grinstead ahead against Reading in the third minute of the match at Sonning Lane. Eliza Chippendale levelled it up for the home side six minutes later. With Caroline Spence putting the home side into the lead soon after. Howard capped off a hectic opening quarter, scoring once more. In the second half, Francesca Clements fired Reading ahead at a penalty corner. But East Grinton scored twice in the final five minutes through Olivia Breed and River Mills to take all three points. Bowden continued their unbeaten start to the season with a fifth draw off the year, this time against Clifton Robinsons. They took the lead in the eighth minute thanks to Katie Alexander. The visitors took the lead as both Holly Munro and Carmen Ansley scored before half time. Hannah McDonald equalised in the 58th minute with a goal that meant that the points were shared. Surbiton pushed their run of victories up to seven as they beat Beeston at home with the only goal being scored by Sophie Hamilton. The University of Nottingham hosted struggling Isca and University of Exeter and went behind as Molly Fairburn scored in the 19th minute. Julie Reed converted from the penalty spot with the only other goal of the first half. The home side took control in the second half though as first Maddie Axford scored. Followed by further goals from Maddie Long and another for Reed. Wimbledon hosted the University of Birmingham, but there were no goals until the 58th minute, when Jess Davis fired the visitors ahead. Two penalty corner goals for Wimbledon, finished by Paige Gillett and Beth Bingham, seemingly gave the home side all three points. But Lily Soki scored a late equaliser to mean it ended 2 all. In the final match of the weekend, Maddie Radcliffe scored twice in the first quarter to give Hampstead and Westminster control in their match at Lumber Students. In the second half, there were further goals for Rachel Greenwood and Lily Owsley to cap off a comprehensive victory for the London side.
So Surbiton push their lead at the top of the table to five points and become the first side to guarantee their spot in the top six. Reading remain in second, two points ahead of Bowden and the University of Nottingham. East Grinstead and Clifton Robinsons currently make up the remainder of the top six. At the bottom, University of Birmingham leap from Beeston in the only change in that bottom four.